everyone, to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, DK Diamantes, and this is kind of a special episode, mini episode. What are you, what are you slurping on there, Bricks? What are you, what are you, what are you slurping on over there, bud? <laughs> are you trying to make a blooper reel out of me no, today? I'm, I was thinking because we're doing a bonus episode, I don't have to take it seriously. Oh, well, sure. Why not? Sure. <laughs> so this I is finish up my coffee. a bonus episode because our Patreon has been blowing up. I think the last time we mentioned exactly how much, we were like, oh yeah, we're under 2,000. Now we're at like 2,700. So schedule's changing a little bit. We're still doing the main episodes like once a week. And then we're going to have sort of a bonus mini episode once a month. And then sort of a variety episode once a month where it's like a 40k game, uh, painting, building a mini, or something in that sort of general area. So if you enjoy the podcast, you enjoy the content that's been coming out, definitely head on over to patreon.com slash ridiculous to support the podcast. Also, new HD posters out, so, you know, subscribe for that. Anyway, today, special mini bonus episode thing, coffee slurping and all that. Hell and, yeah. And uh, we're doing uh, everyone's favorite man-spreading kleptomaniac. We're right, doing Brittany? it. We're doing it's, it. It probably is the most requested episode to be asked for, but you really couldn't schedule a full hour-long podcast on the singular man uh, so it's a little hard to get all that info out of it. I mean, we could just talk and meme around a bit, but you know, which we as probably a will, <laughs> which we probably will, but a bonus episode, I can't imagine being longer than 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. So, but yeah, it's our man Trazen because anyone who names Necrons will have an absolute aneurysm if they don't put like a Z and a Y or like an <laughs> HK next to the yep. naming sequence. I have noticed that with the, uh, with with the uh, Necrons, Oof, had a little had a little brain fart there, but it's fine. Yeah, they got some weird names. Although all the names in GW were kind of complicated. They're a little weird. No one's named John anymore. Their names are like Alberto the the for, uh, like like Mockmanock the Regiment Forty Two Imperial Guard. Like it's always some weird crap. <laughs> <laughs> Trindoc the Flayer of Worlds. Like, like, <laughs> Car the Betrayer. <laughs> you know, actually. I'm actually kind of excited because I know Shy wants me to. Well, yeah, also copyright, of course. But um, Shy wants me to list all the things that Trazen has in his collection. We'd be <laughs> here for years if I had to do that. But Let's go over the heavy hitters, right? The big things that he stole. Well, I want to. I want. There's okay. So there's two. There's two places you can get your your Warhammer lore, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a few. So there's like your books. You know, your your codexes, all kind of stuff. The official from GW sources. Yeah. Uh, then you've got the wiki, the good old Warhammer40k.fandom.com slash wiki, whatever. Yep. Uh, and that's where I get most of my stuff because it's pretty well analyzed. It seems pretty uh, true to the source material. It's still Wikipedia, so you have to take it with a grain of salt. But sure. that's where I get most of the information that I don't know about. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've also got 1D4Cham. Now... <laughs> Now, 1D4 Chan. Have you have you ever visited 1D4 Chan? I certainly have. So it's it's very not PC. It's very no. problematic, but yeah. it's funny as fuck. And and they tend to uh, even even though they're memeing, they, they do a good job. If you want just like a nice TLDR. Yeah, they do. It, they are hilarious. Some of their entries are so Oh, fucking good. Uh, but yeah, very not PC. <laughs> so there's un there's unfortunately for me uh, two lists of things he's stolen. There's the list on the wiki and then there's the 1D 4chan list. <laughs> and the 1D 4chan list is really long. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. I, I don't know if I'm truly going to be able to get through this whole thing. I, I honestly don't think I can. It's okay. really really long it's like four fucking pages <laughs> did you see what shy said uh he, he, stole, he stole the gamer girl feet from the nids apparently you know, he, he the... stole specifically the gamer girl feet. <laughs> what's that oh what's that smell the sweet blood it sings to me <laughs> I hate this. I, I hate it here. <laughs> I want to go home. 
Uh, I, okay, anyway, Trayson, let's get, in, let's get into this. Yeah, let's get into Trayson. Um, this is serious so, podcast hours, man. So Trayson <laughs> is, uh, is an overlord. Um, he's a Necron overlord. And basically, overlord, you know, it's like a like a captain or like you know, fancy pantsy man, you know, because because all the Necrons are a bunch of uh, are a bunch of pompous dick, dickheads, sure. right? And sure. so he's a Necron overlord because there's like you know you got your lowly civilians, then you got lords, and then overlords and the Pharon, uh, and so he's an overlord, and uh, he is the self proclaimed archaeovist of the Solemns galleries in the Necron tomb world of Solemns. It's like S. It's like Solemn S O L E M, but then with an N A C E at the end of it. Solemnace, Solms. Oh. So yeah, go with yeah. That's. Weird. I was gonna call it Solms, whatever. Yeah, easier that way. Uh, so he's a preserver of histories, artifacts, and events, and he uh, quote unquote <laughs> liberates ah. forgotten treasures from other species. <laughs> so 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 he's a douche. Like like he acts yep. like an asshole. He's not just a sneaky asshole, uh, like Necron Lord. He actually, legitimately, is kind of a pompous douchebag, because <laughs> to him, he considers it. And okay, he's timeless, right? He's right. lived sixty million years, and wow. so to him, because you know he went to sleep and everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so to him, he's like, man, all these late races, right? All these lesser races have been around for what? couple tens of thousands, couple like a, a million or so, give or take, maybe, maybe, maybe like, and, and you're mad at me because I want to preserve your history for eternity. Like, I mean, he is 60 million years old, so I could see how he's just like, oh, you young whippersnappers. I'm doing this for preservation's sake. I'm well, that, not that's stealing. That's the Nemesaur Zandrek way of it. <laughs> it's, I'm not, okay. I'm not a robot. What are you talking about? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> the uh he's Trazen, i love him <laughs> he's, he's the best I, I, he's just a stupid character <laughs> Trazen, though he like he like legitimately thinks to himself that he's doing the galaxy a favor that like mm. i am creating a giant vault full of artifacts and important things because eventually when your race is is completely dead in dust i will still be here and i and i, I got the stuff <laughs> I got the shit. Now, this isn't just because he thinks himself to be like a malevolent person, or, or it just makes him thinks himself that he'd be like a great nice guy. Because he doesn't. He kind of he realizes he's a dick and he knows he's kind of a kleptomaniac, but that's how he justifies it to himself. Uh. <laughs> but he's also just kind of a fucking asshole. <laughs> like most Necron lords yeah. are. They're they're all just kind of douches. Mm -hmm. uh, so, example, he doesn't like to fight much. He doesn't really like to go and and like explore the galaxy. He loathes the need for it, but he's got to get some good stuff. Yeah, he's got to get stuff for the vault. Yeah, and, and like, how dare he not go out and seek an opportunity that's important? Yeah. So often, many times, he'll actually have other like Lich Guard, which are um like uh, bodyguards, mm -hmm. or a lesser Necron Lord, unbeknownst to them, being like dressed up to look like Trazen to go out and get the artifacts for him. And so often that one will die and oh. they'll be like, oh, wow, we killed Trazen. But then it's just, it's just not him. <laughs> it's just one of his bodyguards. <laughs> or, or it's one of his like lesser lords, like like his subservient employees that don't know what they're doing. Oh. Or sometimes it will be him. And when he's killed, he'll just like revert his protocols to a different body and forcibly take it over. Oh, no. So even in death, he's stealing from people? And even in death, he's stealing from his own Necrons. He's taking oh, his buddies. Oh, no. What? You're, he is such a douchebag. Yeah, he's just like, oh, I've been be killed. Friend. No, because he'll just take over your body. Oh, my God. What a jerk. He thinks other Necrons don't have the don't have the mental brain. They aren't intellectuals like Trazen is. <laughs> they don't understand that he is so important to preservation of the galaxies. You know, he should charge admission to his vault. Is what he should do. Like he, he should is. he should make a he should make a show out of it. He should make like a you know like a Ringling Brothers vault parade out of it. You know, it's interesting too because his vault doesn't just contain artifacts. It also contains like like large giant dioramas of battles in like holographic form 
Oh. You know, like for instance, uh, sometimes he'll have like this big, oh, oh, here we go. Here's a great example. Um, like sometimes things get broken or accidentally, but he's okay with some inaccuracies. Mm -hmm. Like he has a uh, one tenth of his death of Lord Solar Macarius, which is the death of like, uh, the main Imperial Guard war master. Mm -hmm. Um, his gallery is populated by holographic Imperial Guardsmen that he stole, but their uniforms are like 300 years older. Than the, the historical fact, but he doesn't give a fuck because oh, you know it's like not. it's like ah oh, the buttonhole is different. Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Like like oh well, so long as I get this, he has this giant holographic diorama of like this big battle against like orcs versus guardsmen or something, and Damn. it's like this is right here is where is where the Cadians fought off the orcs in Planet C four Zibidza. Pay attention, kids. <laughs> Pay attention. The tour is continuing. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, single file. I don't know. In my head, I thought his vault was just going to be like, here's a display piece. Here's a display. I didn't think it was going to be like full on dioramas and recreations of actual battles. That's, I that's, mean, his that's vault, dope. his vault's like the size of a city. Like, it's a giant underground vault filled with God knows how much stuff. Okay. Um, but like things sometimes break, like a, a malfunctioning um, canoptic, which like the little subservient things might mm -hmm. cause a problem or, or a firefight might happen uh, because maybe something failed and then like they got out or or maybe like any, like, like ceiling falls. And in that case, he he gets pretty angry. Like he's yeah, just like, ooh, my shit. <laughs> and so he has to go out and like get more. And so he's like, <laughs> of course, he's kind of lazy. He doesn't like to leave and go get stuff. That's why he has those surrogate characters. Mm -hmm. But like that meme right there of him sitting in the chair, which by the way, that <laughs> is is entirely, I give GW some credit for that. That's entirely them embracing the meme because the whole <laughs> Trazen meme is kind of per, done by the community. Mm -hmm. And and then they, they release official fan art or official art <laughs> of him in the Necron Codex with him in that chair. Him in that chair just spreading. Just yes. spray it. Like, he just wants Full to sit spray. there and look at his shit. He's like, ah. Look at this shit. I'm so Such cool. Such good shit. Yeah. So, there's a couple great... Uh, let me, let me, um, let me tell you some great shit about, about Trazen. So, so, <laughs> he tried to steal the Spear of Vulcan, which, you remember oh. Vulcan, right? Primarch <laughs> yeah. of, uh... Yeah. So, it's a special spear artifact that the Salamanders have. I, I think it's one of the artifacts. Uh, basically, Vulcan's gone. But the mm -hmm. Salamanders believe that if they find like eight artifacts, he'll come back to them. And they have Wait, like Vul Vulcan's gone. Oh, uh, well, he's not dead, but he's like kind of dead. But we, they don't know where he is. Oh, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, does, isn't he immortal or something? Like, yeah, no, he he's gone? like they don't know where he's where he's at. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but like if they find all the artifacts, he'll come back. And I think they have like gotcha. five or something. I think one of them is the spear of Vulcan. I might be wrong on that. Uh, but it's this really big, like, flame spear held by one of the major guys uh, in the Salamanders. And he showed up, and he tried to shank him and take it from the vault. <laughs> and, he, and he actually failed and got killed. So Ooh. then he just teleported to a different Necron Lord. And then he came back and tried again. <laughs> and then he got killed, and he teleported back, and he's like, next time. <laughs> oh, no. His poor Necron fr friends. Yeah, like, friends. <laughs> I'm going to take over your body and go on this suicide mission. Damn it. I'll get another one. I'll, oh, man. <laughs> damn it. He, he's <laughs> actually been banned from multiple Necron worlds. Um, I can't imagine why. <laughs> he's been persona non grata, quote unquote, from a large amount of different Necron tomb worlds for trying to take their stuff. In fact, they're, he's actually been banned from the, the main Necron world by Imatech the Stormlord because he tried to take Imatech's staff. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. He's got a. Of course a, he did. Why not? He's got this fantastic <laughs> staff called the Staff of the Destroyer. Uh, I sent you a quick photo of it. That's that's Imitech oh. the Stormlord, and he's like, I want it. And then he, he knocked him <laughs> off. It's like, fuck he's off, a, Trazen. Go back home. What a badass. So that's a hell of a picture of him. Good God. Oh, yeah. Imitech is, is a Chad. He, he went to the Silent King, and he was like, fuck you. He's like, oh, he's damn. like, he's like, you, you left us during our, our hour. You betrayed our whole race. You are a horrible leader. I, I would spit on you if I could. He's, he's pretty, he's pretty, Jeez. pretty Chad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty Chad move. Um, so there's a couple other fancy, fancy things Trazen's done. Uh, let me read you a quote. Okay. This is All a right. long one. It's a big paragraph, but I fucking love this. This is from Trazen himself. Addressed okay. to Inquisitor Valeria. 
um, <laughs> in a hyper scroll message that he sent okay. to a human inquisitor. He said, <clears throat> Dear lady, let me express my fulsome appreciation for your most generous gift. It is so very rare to discover another of my own kind that appreciates my work. Therefore, to find understanding amongst a member of another race is nothing short of a revelation. I realize that you briefly trod my galleries, but the fact that you spotted in so short a time that my Acabrius war collection was lacking three regiments of Katachen warriors reveals that you truly have an eye for collector's detail detail and to send five regiments such oh, generosity no. <laughs> will allow me to weed out and replace a few of the more substandard pieces of my collection if i might level a minor criticism the instructions issued to your gift were manifested not quite as clear as you thought as most of them had to be forcibly restrained oh. sadly it seems that the lower <laughs> orders will always behave like an army of invasion whether that be their purpose or not however this is a minor complaint and seems almost churlish under the circumstances so please allow me to repay your gift with one of my own accompanying this message is a hyperstone maze once a series of tesseract labyrinths constructed at the height of the charnovach dynasty <laughs> it is a trinket really only only of interest to scholars such as you and I, but I trust you will find it amusing, assuming you have the wit to escape its clutches, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> what an absolute fucker. He's like, you you saw I was missing some catechin, and you sent five whole guards oh, and regiments to me? You're so smart. You. Thank I needed you. The, I didn't even have to go to you to get them. You brought them to me. Oh, how nice. Now here's, a, here's, an, here's a fucking infinite maze you can't get out of. Hooray. You're such an asshole. What a Fuck it. He just exudes asshole energy. That uh There are a um there's a couple good parts of him. He's actually has a brief appearance in the Battlefleet Gothic uh mm -hmm. game. Um yeah, you saw my my meme I posted on Twitter, if, if I recall. Oh yeah, the drip Goku. Uh, yeah, where I did drip Trazen. Yep, yep. Trazen yep. the Infa Drip. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's actually voiced really well too, but mm -hmm. that's, that song we'll talk about, I think on the fall of Kadia episode, because that he actually has a big part in the fall of Kadia. Oh, okay. Um, which is, that's the, the big thing is like the, um, call and him are like, you know, they hate each other, obviously, mm -hmm. but Trazen, but basically what happened is Trazen had this, this special bell, right? This mm -hmm. big ass fucking, I think it was a sister's bell or something sister based. And the bell rang 12 times, or was it 13 times? I think it may have been 13 times. Um, okay. Right before Abaddon attacked Cadia, because it was his 13th Black Crusade. Oh, okay. And it, and it rang 13 times. And this is, a, oh, this is a big fucking bell. This is like <laughs> double the size of the Liberty Bell. This thing is like gigantic. Oh. And, and the, <laughs> the constant, like, the constant blanging, like, broke a bunch of his shit. Jeez. And, and he was okay. pretty upset about that, so he decided to take the bell and throw it into the Eldar webway, hoping it'll inconvenience them, like it inconvenienced him. <laughs> oh, great, great. Jesus, that's a huge bell. Jesus. It's really big. It just kept on ringing. But the weird part is that it shouldn't have rung at all, because it was in a stasis field. Oh. So the that, fact that, that it is rang weird. is weird. Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't do that. It shouldn't so, ring whatsoever. So that shit just started ringing on its own. Like he didn't like knock into it, and it just starts ding bong. It, it, it just started doing it on its own. Yeah, I, I I think it was twelve. I think it rang twelve times, or was it three times? Shit. Jeez, that's a that's a mighty big bell to just suddenly start swinging around. Yeah, it just started like what was oh here it is the bell of Saint Gerstall. So yeah, probably some fucking sisters thing. <laughs> I thought if you were gonna say the bell of Satan. I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> on the nose a bit, uh, but okay. I'm not. I don't quite remember the whole bell thing, but all I remember is that it. Uh, oh, you know, it did have 13 times. Yeah, and, and then after 13 rings, it just like stopped, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? This isn't like this. You shouldn't be ringing. What the hell, man? This wasn't in the owner's manual. And, and so that that's what happened. He's like, that's so weird. Why did it ring like that? So that's what he, he ventured out out of curiosity and went to Cadia mm, um, in order okay. to figure out the hell was going on. And, and basically, uh, they, they probably would have lost without his help. 
Um, oh. they, they, they still lost, but, uh, you know, they, it would have been much faster without his help. Right, right. Uh, he was quite the benefactor. He's got a great uh, voice actor in that game. That game had some really good voice acting. Most Warhammer games do, actually. In order to get that, like, really, um, I don't know the word, but, like, that super over-the-top vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty I, cool. I need to play more of these Warhammer games, because they keep coming up, and people keep telling me about, like, these really awesome parts in them, and I've only played that Space Hole game, and Vermintide, and Vermintide. They mostly all suck, so it's, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, pers much, eh? <laughs> I personally don't like Battlefleet Gothic's gameplay a whole lot, but the cutscenes are like are like the best, and it's really pretty. Yeah, they're the best. Um, do you want to hear about what stuff he has in his vault? Sure. All right, let me read you all the ones from the wiki, oh boy. and then I'll pick out a few of them I can find on Onesie Four Chain to see if there's any good <laughs> stuff. So the memes. We've got the Wraithbone Choir from the Ursani Craft World at Altenzar. Honestly, okay. I don't know. That, that, was, that was fucking hieroglyphics to me. I don't really know what the Wraithbone Choir is. <laughs> I know what Wraithbone is, but I don't know what the Wraithbone Choir is, so it's something. All Wait, right. is that what they do to create Wraithbone? What, do they just have a choir sing and then just... Wraithbone. No, it's like... Wraithbone is like... It's, it's like physical warp. It's like it's like oh. turning the warp into a physical substance that it, like like a like a marble. It, it's it's really I, I need to research the craft world Eldar more because I don't remember this one. I was gonna say that sounds dangerous. Uh. <laughs> Good old El, well the Eldar is stupid. <laughs> um, uh, he has the ossified husk of an enslaver, which I believe is a creepy ass like other fucking Xenos race. Oh. Um, that isn't really huh. around anymore. Okay, all right. They, he husks. has he know. has the preserved head of Sebastian Thor. If you remember Sebastian oh. Thor, he was the guy who led the charge against uh, Doge Van Dyer during the <laughs> Age of Apostasy. He was the guy who was like, "Fuck you, man." He was like the Martin Luther guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he has his now. head. <laughs> Okay. He just has his head. It's just floating around like Futurama style in a in a just a big jar of with Ronald Reagan. Yeah, with Ronald Reagan and Nixon. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Um he's got Brother Cassiel, which is a Blood Angels space marine uh who has been frozen in a face of perpetual fear and he finds oh. it, it tickles him pink cuz he gets to look at a space marine being scared. <laughs> What a fucking guy. <laughs> um, there's several regiments of Katachin fighters we mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the shrines that contained the world spirit of Karnak, uh, which Whoa. was a, uh, it's a like a two world thing during the Karnak campaign under um, Eldar bullshit. I don't Eldar know, man. Bullshit. Gotcha. Eldar gotcha. bullshit. Eldar bullshit. Okay. okay. Uh, a device containing the entire high fleet that launched the Tyranian invasion of the world Veros. Uh, wow. because he wanted to create a, a scale variation of a, of a Tyranid invasion as like a hologram. <laughs> okay. Good um, reason. Good reason. Lieutenant commander of the Ultramarine Legion, a guy named, uh, Sarantes, uh, and several of the Dreadnoughts from the Horus Heresy. <laughs> Damn. Um, however, they were actually released, uh, in order to help with the fight in, uh, in Cadia, uh, but they were all killed. So F. Oh, great. They had Fs, uh, in, Fs in chat. Jesus. Big Fs in chat. Uh, lost regiments of the Imperial Guard from Tanith, which is actually super cool because Tanith is uh, the main guardsman regiment from Gaunt's Ghosts, which we might do the book club for. Oh, okay. Uh, we also have multiple regiments of the Vostroyan Firstborn, which is more guards. Mm -hmm. um, a single member of the Adeptus Custodes. Really? He's got a custodian in there. He's got a custodian. How the fuck did he get his hands on that? I don't really know. <laughs> That's I not the say, point. Uh, I was like, of all the things that could stop him from, you know, his kleptomaniac ways, you would think a custodian would be near the top of that list of people that you don't get to fuck with. Normally you don't, but he's a crafty little asshole. Apparently. <laughs> uh, what else? The uh, Astartes of the Salamanders chapter. He has a couple of them. Uh, a, he originally had the Puritan Inquisitor Katarina Grayfax. 
of the Ordo Hereticus and a bodyguard of Tempestus Scions. Uh, but they were released during the, the fall of Cadia as well. Um, okay. They actually lived. There's actually a wonderful novel about um, St. Celestine of the Sisters of Battle mm -hmm. and uh, Katarina Greyfax, which is an inquisitor called Our Martyred Lady. Um, and it's about them two fighting off like a chaos threat. It's actually really, really good. Um, a perfect clone of Fulgrim, Primarch oh. Fulgrim of the Emperor's Children that, that sliced off Ferris Menace's head. Uh, he got is a perfect clone of him, which he received in exchange for 18,000 samples of pure gene seed uh, with another man named Fabius Bile, which is a chaos mad scientist. Oh, so he wait, so he's dealing with chaos a little bit here? He'll deal with whatever the fuck he wants if he feels like it. Oh, uh, oh yeah, apparently. Jesus. Well, how how do you make a perfect clone of, of Fulgrim exactly? Like how does that work? Man, I don't know. It's Warhammer. All right, sweet. <laughs> There's a perfect clone of Fulgrim and Trazon's got it. He's got it. He's got a full clone of non-chaos Fulgrim. Um, actually, I don't know what he would be like right now, because current Chaos Fulgrim is a demon Primarch. Looks like a big snake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but, I don't, yeah, he, he dealt with Fabius Bile. Fabius Bile is the dude who's like, hmm, I'm gonna wear a suit made of skin, and Ooh. I'm going to, like, put some drugs in these Chaos Marines and see what will happen. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he's a little bit weird. He was a, an apothecary, which is like a medic, for, yeah. um, the Emperor's Children. At the time, and, and now he just kind of does his own thing. He's kind of a dick. Sounds he's got like a, he's got a fucking uh, a skin trench coat though, so he's kind of boss. They used to call him Fabulous Bile because of that. Ew, a skin trench. coat. Oh god, should I just posted the pic? He looks a lot cooler than I thought he'd look. He's pretty cool. I mean, that that actually probably does him more justice than it should. He's pretty nasty. Um, but <laughs> that's but, a dope picture. It, it's pretty dope. It, it's actually it's actually super dope. This is uh this this one I'll send you is more like him. Um, as you can tell, oh, there's a screaming oh face on the bottom right-hand corner yeah. of his suit. <laughs> oh, I'd like, I'd like to just look at the other one. Thank you. Uh, All right, perfect. I don't like the one you said. <laughs> um, but the number one thing that Trazen has that I think is really cool uh, is he has Lord Castellan Usakar E. Creed, which was the Lord uh, General and the last Castellan of Cadia. Um, Creed is like. We'll talk about him a little in the guard episode that, that um, I guess technically already came out because we're recording oh, this before guard episode. That's true. Fuck. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, ha, ha, ha. We definitely are recording this one day before the guard episode because we ran out of time. Yeah, <laughs> that so, guard episode was a real so you, killer. Go check you it out. You should remember him from yeah. the guard episode. Yeah, and I do, of course. <laughs> He's a fucking boss, dude. He's super cool. We'll talk about him. Yeah, we okay. talked. We talked about him. Well, yeah, um. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's a lot of the major shit that he's got currently in his vault. Let me tell you the stuff I have on 1d4chan real quick. <laughs> okay. um, an actual orc sniper. Uh, a copy of Battletoads. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, Caiaphas Kane, hero of the Imperium, missing fingers. Oh. Um, uh, the Silent King Sanguinius mask. Uh, uh, Robot Gilliman's body pillow of Yvrain. <laughs> Yvrain's Vibrator, <laughs> Ultramarine Sanctioned. Oh, God. <laughs> An orc that doesn't want to fight. <laughs> um, Clearly but, uh, canon. Clearly all canon. Uh, Samus's Armor from Metroid Prime. <laughs> uh, as many cat girls as possible, as long as with a selfie of each of them. <laughs> what a, what a, that's culture. 100% reliable information on the Alpha Legion. <laughs> <laughs> a certain swell guy. A certain swell. Is that a meme I don't know? Uh, I think it's Karn the Betrayer. Yeah, it's Karn the Betrayer. Oh. <laughs> swell guy, that betrayer. Sw swell guy. Uh, a garage with each of the Imperial Guard tanks. Um, <laughs> Abaddon's arms. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming Abaddon is missing a couple arms. No, um, Abaddon's old model was 
horrible, like horrendous to put together. And so he was always known as Abaddon the Armless because his arms wouldn't work properly. <laughs> and so a lot of people just played him without arms. Um, so it's he has his arms. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, a, a jar of scub. What's what's scub? Uh, well, later. Oh no. <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> not important. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, <laughs> there's so much bullshit. Here. <laughs> so, well, it's one d four or whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, a Gretchen who is stronger than an orc. Oh. <laughs> so, somehow, <laughs> a clear, accurate, unedited photograph of a Diglett's body. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh! You don't know who Kidden is. You haven't watched Texas Speech yet. Mm -mm. God damn it! God damn it! I don't know. Uh, the Golden Throne of Terra. Oh no! The Emperor's Golden Throne <laughs> oh, of Terra. <no. laughs> An actual Pokeball with a katana in it. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. As, the, I get that reference because of the, the previous episodes. Yeah. I get why that's funny. Yes! <laughs> the Statue I of got Liberty. I Warhammer meme. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. The Statue <laughs> of Liberty. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> An undisputably good codex from any faction. Oh, that's... The, that, the best pole dancer in all of the Dark Eldar. <laughs> and finally, the ham personally provided by Ordo Drago. Another thing you don't understand, but everyone else say, hopefully like, I, will. I, I don't get it, but sure. Listen, the comments will be like, yeah, I get that ham. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. you know when you see like a Reddit thread or something, or any thread, and it's just like one answer, and then every other answer is the same answer as that answer? Oh, yeah. I'm hoping this one will just be like, yeah, I get that ham. <laughs> it's just all that. I need to make sure I'm the first person on that video so I can type in, yeah, I get that ham. Even yeah, I, I get that ham. Yeah, and then everybody will just copy the one person that doesn't know about the ham. <laughs> 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 oh, so yeah, Trace is fucking great. Um, he's got a couple of, of battles I want to look at real fast. If there's anything in particular that is, is fun. Right. Um, most of them are pretty are pretty, you know, here and there. Um, I like one of my favorite things is there's a there's an aircraft called a night scythe, and okay. a night scythe is like is like a transport aircraft for the for the Necrons. Often, if he needs to grab a few things, he'll just like fly it really close to the ground and just like suck them up, <laughs> like old That's school UFOs ship. and a cow. <laughs> I mean. If you got if you got to steal stuff quick, that's I guess that's the way to do it. He just goes like, <laughs> <laughs> just, that's <laughs> it. Got, it's done. He's got his big suck flyer. That's you know. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I know he's got a lot of different battles that he's done here, but but honestly, we don't do much about battles to begin with. One thing I would really recommend though is that there's another book that in, that stars Trazim called mm -hmm. the or uh the Infinite and the Divine. And it's about oh. this one guy called Orkin the Diviner. I don't remember if you mentioned, remember him, but he was the only guy who said, let's not do biotransference because you can, like, see the future. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do so vaguely remember him. It's the two of them doing, like, a buddy cop adventure. <laughs> and and, and Orkin <laughs> is, like, he he's constantly one step ahead of Trazen because he can see the future. And Trace is really fucking upset about this because he's just like, <laughs> give me a shit. <laughs> I sure. <laughs> There's some really good stuff like that. It's it's a, apparently quite a good book. It, it it sounds like it'd be a hell of a book with, with, with those two just constantly going at each other like that. Um, <laughs> oh. Trazon is such a fucking weirdo. I love it. He's such a weirdo douchebag. Um, douchebag is it's great. He's 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 a he's a kick. Oh, I totally forgot. Um, the the Tokarin Crusade. Trace in the Infinite claims to have discovered the Song of Entropy, one of the missing artifacts of Vulcan, instigating a so a decade long war between the Salamanders and oh. his Necron forces, which he actually turned out to be a lie, just so he could lure Vul uh, the, the uh, Vulcan Histon, which is the Chapter Master, into a trap so he could steal a spear. <laughs> Wow! That was he it. He started a decade long war <laughs> based on a lie so he could get the spear from another dude. Yeah, he just the second time he tried to get the spear was when he did that. <laughs> the first time he failed, the second time he's like, alright, I gotta lure him out. 
And then he failed again. What a fucker. What I an know. absolute fucker. He's such a he's such an a complete shithead. And, and the best part about Trazen is that like you can make up a bunch of crap with him if you feel like it. Mm-hmm. And it just probably could be canon. They'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, one time he played a poker game with the Emperor himself for his throne, and he only lost because the Emperor was using psychic shit and he's cheating. <laughs> sounds canon. Yeah, sure. That sounds like, about he, right. He's got a uh, like a weapon called the Empathic Obliterator, which is a oh. staff where when he kills an enemy, uh, like a shockwave of mental energy goes through other like-minded individuals and cause them to like just so he'll like kill one guy out of a squad and the whole squad will just die. Oh um, shit, that's a but, hell of a weapon. Yeah, it's pretty good for him, but he disdains combat with inferior beings of flesh and blood. So normally he just tries to stab him with other stuff if he can. Even though it'd be so much easier to just blap. Yeah, he's just like, I don't want to be here. I don't. Oh, dude, this is dead. The sun. I don't. I get me out of here. Let me go back to playing Minecraft. <laughs> just want to play my games. <laughs> Leave me alone. The um. He also has these things called mind shackle scarabs, which oh, he boy, has these tiny, tiny funny. little robot scarabs that bury into the victim's head and bypass their cerebral functions, turning them into a puppet. Ew. So what he did, what he did that to all the people on Cadia. So he was just kind of walking and chilling alongside like a bunch of Ultra Marines that physically couldn't fight him. Oh, he just kind of sat there next to a bunch of Ultra Marines, and they had their boulders in hand. He's like, "Sup, bitch!" And the Ultra Marine <laughs> guy is like, "Foul Zeno scum!" But he like couldn't lift his bolter to shoot him, and he's just like, "Ah, what have you done to me?" Jeez, I mean, with with weaponry like that, it, I mean. Wait a minute. He, he, he should he should be fighting more. Like if he can mind shackle you and then like mind shock you to the point where anybody connected to you dies too. Why doesn't he fight more? Is he really is he really just that lazy? Oh, well, no, he needs to implant the scarabs into their head. It's more like a way to keep you from uh, getting out of his vault and stuff. It's like, oh, it doesn't, he can't just, like, do it. Okay, I thought they were, like, little, like, uh, I thought they were almost like little drones that would skitter around the ground and then find someone and just be like, boop, I'm in. Um, I mean, maybe, but probably a little hard. Yeah. Uh, I actually just thought of something, too. I completely forgot about this. And What's then that? you made me forget about it again because <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> And now I don't remember anymore. <laughs> oh, well, we were talking about how he should fight more, and then the skittering uh, Oh, no, I remember and... now. Dude, he fucked up the Ultramarines. Oh, shit, and, did and he? They, and they didn't get away because he, he got multiple separate lieutenants and guys from the Ultramarines, and a bunch of their 30 uh, Horus Heresy dreadnoughts stole them all, captured them all, vaulted them, and then in the fall of Cadia, he unleashed them all, and since Cadia fell, they all died. The Ultramarines are gone! The, the yes! injustice is over! I love it when a story ends with the Ultramarines getting fucked! Yes! Nice! Yeah! Nice one, Yug! Fuck you, Ultra! <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Yug! <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send all the instructions of all of my cards if you win right into Trazen's vault. Because if there is intelligent life, we should teach him how to duel. <laughs> It's my Good favorite going, Kaiba you. moments. <laughs> That's my. F You've seen that Kaiba moment, right? I have not seen that Kaiba what? moment. There's a moment when Kaiba's like, "You can enter my, you, you can enter my competition, and whoever wins gets to design a card that will go on my Kaiba Corporation uh, rocket into space. Because if there is intelligent life, we should teach him how to duel." <laughs> Have you never? That? You've not seen how, that? How did I miss that? What the hell? I've never seen that. All right, all I right. Used homework. To watch Yu-Gi-Oh too. All right, homework for all of our viewers. Go on YouTube and look up that scene. <laughs> it's the best. Yes, that's your homework. You will be quizzed on it. There will be a test on this. All right. So, my dude, I think it's about time we we stop this one now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your boy's actually off to go get vaccinated. Oh shit! Hell yeah, brother! Go N get Papa it. Nurgle ain't got shit. I'm a Slanesh boy now. Hey, look at you! Look Nothing's at me! I'm gonna look up you. some Warhammer smut. <laughs>